Silverlicious by Victoria Can. I had a wriggly tooth. It had been wiggling for days. I wiggled my tooth at breakfast and I wiggled it at lunch. At snack time, I saw that Peter was eating a chocolicious cookie. I grabbed it and took a big bite. Look, my tooth came out. Yay, I said, but something was wrong. Oh no, mommy, it wasn't just any tooth. It was my sweet tooth. This cookie has no flavor. It tastes like dirt. Oh dear, you lost your sweet tooth, asked mommy. How dreadful, said daddy. That's what you get for stealing my cookie, said Peter, sniffling. What am I going to do without my sweet tooth? I know. I grabbed my pinkatastic pen and started to write. Dear Tooth Fairy, today my sweet tooth come out. What should I do? Could you please send me something sweet to eat until a new tooth grows in? Love, Pinkalicious. I tucked the note under my pillow with my tooth and kept one eye open all night. I had always wanted to know exactly what the tooth fairy looks like. Tonight, I would see her. Pink, 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 went my alarm. I must have fallen asleep. I looked for my tooth, but it was gone. In its place were three red candy hearts and a note. Dearest Pinkalicious, how art thou? Tutina, your personal tooth fairy, was busy last night. Unfortunately, a girl in New Zealand was having her molars out. Tutina had to fly there to help her. It takes a long time for a tooth fairy to fly because her wings are so small. Tutina asked me to help you. I hope you don't mind. Forever yours, Carlos Cupid. Peter, come quick, I shouted. Cupid was here. Did you see him? Did you? Did you? Asked Peter. No, I missed him. I guess I fell asleep. Look, he left me candy. I put a couple of red hearts in my mouth. Eek! These are red hearts. My mouth is burning, I yelled. They taste like coal. Yum! They taste great to me, said Peter. And look at all the hearts in your room. Cupid must really like you. Cupid loves everybody. Where's my tooth fairy? I want my tooth fairy, I said, stomping my foot. My plan was to stay awake all night long so I could take a picture of Cupid to show my class. I had my camera ready. I wrote another note. Dear Carlos Cupid, thank you so much for the red hots. Unfortunately, they were disgusting. I would prefer to have something sweet. Love, Pinkalicious. Pink, 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 went my alarm. I had fallen asleep again. I looked for my note. It was gone. In its place were three jelly beans and a new note. Dear Pinkalicious, excuse me? The candy wasn't sweet enough for you? Poor Carlos Cupid. His heart was broken last night when he read your letter saying that you didn't like his candy. He asked me to help you. Normally at this time of year, I am having an extravagant vacation in exciting Eggdor. But I decided perhaps I might be able to help you. Please enjoy the jelly beans. Kind regards, Edgar Easter Bunny. P.S. Tuthina is in India helping an elephant with a, to with a tusk ache. When I tasted the jelly beans, they felt like little pebbles in my mouth. Yuck, I said, spitting them out. These jelly beans taste awful. And look at all the footprints the bunny left around my room, I complained. I don't see anything wrong with it at all, said Peter. Looks like he left eggs everywhere. He grabbed a basket and started to collect as many as he could. Where is Tutina? I wondered. That night, I wrote another note. I had my camera ready, plus a net so I could catch the bunny if he had the nerve to hop around my room again. I would definitely stay awake tonight. Dear Edgar Easter Bunny, 
Thank you so much for the eggs. Unfortunately, I lost my sweet tooth, so the jelly beans had no flavor. Could you please, please, please ask Tutina to come and leave me something sweet? Love, Pinkalicious. Pink, 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 went my alarm. I fell asleep again. This time, I found three tiny candy canes in a note. Dear Pinkalicious, I am happy that I got a break from all the toys I have to make this morning. Noon and night. Being a tooth fairy is a much better job. Tutina had to fly to Japan to celebrate with the little boy who was finally getting his braces off. She asked me to help you. Have a very merry day. Elf number 351. I licked the candy cane. Gross! It tasted just like hard toothpaste. What a mess! There was snow everywhere. Do you think he left some toys here too? Asked Peter. You sure are lucky. When I lose a tooth, I just get a few coins under my pillow. But I wanted something sweet from the tooth fairy. Something that would taste good until my new sweet tooth grows in. I want Tutina. That night, I was ready. Dear elf number 351, thank you so much for the candy canes. Unfortunately, they tasted bad. Can you please, please, pretty please, with sugar plum flavoring on top, ask Tutina to come and leave me something sweet? Perhaps she is the only one who can help me out. Pinkalicious Pinkerton. Pink, 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 went my alarm. I slept right through it. When I finally woke up, I found nothing. My note was gone, but there was nothing else. I was so disappointed. Nothing from Cupid, the Easter Bunny, or even elf number 351. Then I noticed a teeny weeny slip of paper under my chair and three silver coins. Dear Pinkalicious, sweetness comes from the inside. When you are sweet, the world and all the delicious things in it will be sweet too, with love. Tutina, please don't forget to brush and floss after every meal. Huh? What does that mean? I wondered. Hadn't I been sweet? Maybe I wasn't sweet when I bit into Peter's chocolicious cookie or stumped my feet or spit out the candy. Maybe I could have been sweeter to Cupid, the Easter Bunny, and elf number 351. I was really very lucky that they came and visited me. I wrote a new note. Dear Edgar Easter Bunny, Carlos Cupid, Elf 351, and Tutina, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedules to visit me and for leaving me red hots, jelly beans, candy canes, and three silver coins. I am sorry if I wasn't grateful. You made my room look beautiful and you are welcome to visit me anytime. Love, Pinkalicious. P.S. I want you to all to come back soon. Signed, Peter. I folded it up for later. I began to feel much better. Hey, Pinkalicious, did you know that the silver coins are actually made of chocolate? Asked Peter, stealing the coins out of my hand and running around the room. Peter! You can have the chocolates because you are usually such a nice brother, I said sweetly. Huh? Um, I don't want them. You can have them back. I'm sorry I took them, Peter said, handing them back to me. How about if we share, I said, tasting a chocolate coin. Yummy. It's silverlicious. I can taste sweet things again. Hooray! From now on, I am going to be as sweet as my sweet tooth. The end.